Doesn't uh, have to happen. Let's move on. Another big uh, event that happened on the third Friday. Mm-hmm. Was it that the third? It, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, Recently, yeah. in the last couple of days. Um, yeah, Friday. Yeah. Yeah, uh, which impacts uh, at least half of us pretty significantly. Uh, the Nintendo Switch was released, and uh, uh, we have, so, some of us were lucky enough to uh, to get the system and the only game available. Right off well, the only that. like worthy <laughs> only game to yeah. bother getting. So I'm just going to turn it over to you guys and uh, let you tell us about your experiences with the Nintendo Switch and the new Zelda game, which is called what? Breath, Breath of, of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Yes. Thanks. So I'm going to talk about this, and these guys are not going to say anything. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's Sarah, what I thought. This is all you. Yes. I mean, Duff Mall. I haven't played it at all. <laughs> all right. Okay. Defer to <laughs> Joseph and Ravi. <laughs> all right. There we go. Um. So the Switch is an interesting beast. Right um, it's there's not much to it. I think we both had the experience of turning it on and outside. <laughs> of, I turned it on. <laughs> turning it on. We turned it on and then we turned it off and then we were like, "All right, done with this." I mean, it's. I think I feel like right now I haven't played one two Switch yet, but I feel like right now the system is basically made to run Breath of the Wild and one two Switch, and that's it. What is one two Switch? One Two Switch is it's a multiplayer platform game where you have two people compete. Think of it like a quick draw, oh, like cool. an old style Western. Well, there are a couple of other type of like scenarios. 30, like thirty you, mini games. Thirty little mini games and oh, okay. other things and cool. so forth. Cool. It relies heavily, heavily on the Joy-Con controllers. Um, it's oh, yes. made. Yes. yes. So the Joy Cons are these little tiny controllers that are a lot even smaller than they look on video yeah, once you get them tiny. in your hand. Mm. Yeah, they're really small. They're made for ants. Now, Apple has made a lot of moves. If anybody has like an iPhone 7 or a 6S, Apple just keeps getting better at the little uh, vibrations. They keep getting haptic more feedback. haptic feedback. Yeah, yeah it keeps yeah. getting more and more advanced. So Nintendo is going with that and made, took it a step further with these guys. So one of the things they showed is you hold it like they showed in a video like glass or ice cubes of ice getting dropped into a glass and you're supposed to be able to feel how many cubes of ice are in the glass by shaking this. Wow. So there's a mini game where you're supposed to tilt it around and there's like balls going around on the inside and count the balls. Oh wow. So two two people are doing that to see who can accurately guess how many balls are in their Joy-Con. Yeah. Um <laughs> so um, All right. why is it so funny? Just seems know. an odd uh, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm, odd. I'm trying to describe the game here. Yeah, yeah, no, you're doing um, a good job. But, <laughs> but so the game is... You did an arcade job. It, it has terrible graphics. It's not meant to be like a game you play on your own. It's just like a goof-off thing. Yeah, kind of just to yeah. show maybe the features a little bit. Basically, yes. I mean, it's, cool. a, it's a launch title. And yeah, it's like a launch you, title. You hit the nail on the head. It's something that, I mean, it's clear that Nintendo wanted content. So they just made content. Right. Oh. Why they charge fifty dollars for that game for and not just bundle no it? No one knows. I don't know. Wait, Nintendo seems like a pretty lame. It was fifty bucks. It's fifty dollars for that. Um, you didn't waste your money on that. I did not Switch. bother buying Excellent. that. Excellent. No. It's one of those games that you bring your Switch over to somebody's house and somebody and you you put it up and you say, you "Here, let's have play to have this." The game? No. You, the idea is you're supposed to play it off of here. Nobody's supposed to look at the screen, and you're supposed to be looking at each other. Mm-hmm. So there's this game where one person holds their Joy-Con like a sword, mm-hmm. and the other per- person holds it above their head like they're going to clap the sword to stop it. Oh, cool. So you don't look at the screen at all. You just swing your sword and try to clap your Joy-Con. The other person tries to clap their Joy-Con based on what the other person's doing. Hmm. That's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah, goofy. Yeah. It's goofy. It's goofy. It's, it's goofy. It's wacky. <laughs> Uh, who knows if it's fun? And that's up to you and the people you play it with at a party. Yeah. <coughs> my, my other question is, how do you find... So obviously, we have this, this giant screen here, and you, you, you can play on this, but then you can also put it in like a little switch thing. And, oops, the dock? Switch, yeah. And then it's projected onto the screen. What have you guys noticed with graphics? Does it... You know, I'll is, take this one. That? I'll take this one. <laughs> All right, cool. He's wrong. I'm right. I'm right about oh, this. Good I'm point, right good about point. this. On the TV, uh, uh, so when it f- was first announced, the graphics, when you broadcast it through the dock under the TV, was 1080. At first, I was like, oh my goodness, we live in the 4K era. What is this nonsense of 1080? Yeah. But to be fair, you know, you get a massive game like uh, Legend, you know, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wind, and it looks great on the TV. It looks nice and crisp and clear. We have a 4K TV. I can't really tell any kind of issues. My issues with the system is when you undock it mm. and you have 
on the actual switch itself that screen right there it's 720p 720p the naked eye can tell distortions and you can clearly see like for example on link you can see pixel pixelization on his edging you can see um pixel edging issues on um buildings and objects and so forth so for me that's very very annoying a lot of people have said oh actually uh, i think a joseph lieber said this nintendo is all about having fun Yes, you can have fun with it, but if there is something visually imperfect and distracting, it takes away from that fun. Question. Yes. How much How much does the Switch cost? 300 stupid dollars. 300? For Great 300 dollars, you can put a better screen on it. I'm just saying. Because for, it's not a... I mean, it's... You could have bumped that up to a 1080 you screen. You can bump it up to a for, 1080 okay, screen. Okay, all right, all right, all right. For, hang on. For tablets out there, what tablet can you get for 300 dollars? Well, one of those. The Amazon no, I, I Kindle. Had, the Kindle. Right? Yes. No, there's, there's, a, there's an Android screen. tablet you can get. a 1080 screen. Sure. But the graphics card does not compare to what's in here. That's, that's what's the, the big difference. What's the point of a good graphics card if you've got a crappy screen? Com like there's you're no rendering point. a big world. There's no <laughs> other tablet saying. game. There's no other tablet game out there that you could play that's on the scale of Breath of the Wild. So when you're playing it, yes, it's 720p and it doesn't look perfect, uh, but it's so big and so immersive. There's no other mobile touchscreen game that you would want to play on your iPad for three hours straight like you would with Breath of the Wild. Are you quoting something I told you earlier? No. Good. Okay, okay. So the actual game, uh, Breath of the oh Wild. Oh my god. Tell me about that. It's, this is a game, I've put a lot of time into it, and I, 15, I think... 15 hours? At least. Uh, in the two days that you've been playing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the Nintendo Switch came out on Friday. You right. got yours approximately like five, Friday, 5 p.m. This is the day, first yeah. time he's left his apartment and no, seen the, the outside <laughs> world, okay? And we're, this is it's four, a break. It's someone's a break. been 48 hours. Oh um, no, it's, it's, it's an insane game. It's, it's so huge. It's so it's polished. A huge, it's so huge. fun. It does your stealth, your exploration, your combat, all that progression. It does so well. I think it's such a step forward. It's like, it's like one of those games where the whole industry does a double take and goes, okay, wait, what have we been doing this whole time? And how did Nintendo pull that off on PS3 era? So, so you've, already, you've already called Logan the greatest superhero <laughs> movie you've ever seen. Are you going to go out and... Are you gonna it was just, a big double. Are you going to double up? Is it this was the greatest video game you've ever played? I, it's not... Okay. Good, I don't want to say that. I'm not okay. going to just throw that out. There's a lot of right. games out there. We're going to have to wait years He's only 48 to hours into the game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's hardly so, wait, wait till we hit it's the at least 50 hour mark. 2,000 hour game. game. <laughs> so oh a couple God, other, that just makes me want to throw that. A couple other things from the launch of the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. um, there yeah. were a couple of issues with the Am specifically Amazon pre-orders, where a lot of folks didn't actually end up with their systems. They received notifications on Thursday saying it was shipping, and then come Friday morning, get a hey guys, we're Switch. sorry. GameStop. We haven't GameStop heard. Up. We've heard that GameStop, Best Buy, Target specifically got a restock of Switches on Saturday. Amazon has yet to say anything as to what happened, why their inventory didn't match their orders and so forth. Mm. Um, other things to note, Nintendo has come out and said two very interesting statements. Um, there were a couple of connection issues with the Joy-Con controllers. I have experienced that personally. And Nintendo said it's because either A, you have an aquarium <laughs> in between the Joy-Con controllers and the... What? And the device, okay. or, a or, or B, a bundle of wires. So hold on, hold so on. Wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. Those were their suggestions. <laughs> As we, amazing. Uh, an aquarium? Yeah. An aquarium. It's what if I just have a glass of water in between That's it? an aquarium to some people. Well, if it's a small Is glass of water? That's a poisonous aquarium, but yes, that's <laughs> an aquarium. What if it's a tiny glass of water? It's a, it's a weird issue. I, th I don't think it's a hardware issue, because for me personally, I took the left Joy-Con, which is the one that's having the issue, and I had my dock up by my TV, and then I took my Joy-Con, and I put everything I could think of between it Wait, and the Wait, but dock. did that include a giant aquarium. bowl of aquarium. water? And did it include bundles, just random bundles of wires? Did you, like, look for bundles of no, wires? No, he has an aquarium play, stack it with fish. It? He took a bundle of wires, plugged in, and just dumped it in the aquarium. Oh! Like, underwater, and it was still fine. <laughs> Poor fish. No, so I, think, I don't think it's a hardware issue. I think it's something that'll get ironed out. Some people are experiencing it, some aren't. 
Hmm. Have you experienced? Have, I personally have not experienced either. it. I put it. So I put it. I put I my bed between it. I don't. That's dock, still so. not a bundle of wires. I hope that's not a bundle of wires I or an aquarium. Wires. I'll have to. I'm have to open not. It up. The uh, have other. You? The under, other interesting. <laughs> statement. Okay. This is a good time for me to tell everyone I'm a robot. The other. Uh, the other The other interesting statement Nintendo came out with was regarding the screen and dead pixels. A number of that users are lo noticing a lot of dead pixel issues, primarily in the middle of the screen. Nintendo came out and said something along, <laughs> and I'm paraphrasing it. They came out and said something along the lines of, dead pixels in high quality screens, that's not a high quality screen, are something that say. the industry is, uh, is accustomed to and sees at a certain point, then we consider the screen defective. They haven't said what, what they consider is. or what that level mm. is of failure. So, so have Apple they also the not said yeah. what they consider to be a high quality screen? Because I've seen the graphics on there, I agree. Honestly, yeah. So, so let me get this straight. They're putting out, for the $300 that you're paying for this little guy, a subpar screen that then has pixelation, or that then has dead pixels in the middle of the screen. Yep. <laughs> In some cases. All right, I, oh, and then the other side. I'm going to go back and play the PS4. I got Horizon Zero Dawn, and it's cool, and I need to put more time into it. So The other um, <laughs> other thing that came, they've come out with and have said that is very annoying, save data is only <gasps> local. You there is that. no online backup save function. There is no, no way to export. Now, There's nothing. My, so if I was to take my hammer or this link right here and smash that thing to don't bits, do it. His 48 hours Wait. into Breath of the Wild would oh, be gone. Oh, this is a light little guy. Wow. He won't do anything. Yes. So here's my question, though. Have they said whether that's something that's coming yeah, when they do the beta, the like that beta online service that they're going to go with and th that will then become non-beta that will actually yeah. go into no, everything it, in the it, fall or whatever? It seems like they did so much testing and experimented with so much different stuff and then finally came on a concept. Forgot. And then they said, they and then forgot they said, certain strong like they they forgot a high resolution portable screen. All they right. forgot you know cloud based saving. Pixel. A lot of people, a lot of people are calling this a soft launch. Yes, so I agree with that. It's a soft launch. They they rolled out a very very basic free online service that barely even counts. Has that? There's, there's no browser. The, the screen doesn't rotate when you flip the switch over. Oh, I, mean, basic I didn't notice it's, that. It's, it's really basic things. Yeah. So people say Mario Odyssey comes out in the winter, the, ho the holiday season, and that's a game people are really excited about. And by the launch of Mario, they're saying that They'll, you'll get online that works. You won't need friend codes. You'll be able to save oh, that's your my other data, big transfer it. Like, it'll, it'll just function like a mod. It'll, it'll have maybe even a web browser. Which it doesn't have right now. That uh, yeah, because when, I, when I first on it. when I first launched it and I was downloading because I did the digital for for Zelda, I was like looking at it, I was like, okay, I can't do anything else on this right now. Mm -hmm. There's no other function. No, it's you can build a me if you want. But I would say <laughs> the Switch itself is not the most exciting thing. That besides the fact that I can take my game and play it when I leave my living room, the Switch is not the most exciting thing that happened on Friday. Mm -hmm. I, oh, okay. It's it's Breath of the Wild that's really the the draw right now. Yeah, okay. absolutely. That's cool. Clearly, uh, real quick then, out of five Mario's, give it a rating right now. The uh, Switch or the uh, game? The, uh, the whole experience. The whole experience. Yeah, I'll let you go first. Hmm? All right, out of ten Mario's. Give Wait, it no, no, go five. No, five Mario's. Five Mario's. Five Mario's. You like that? Yeah. You can throw in a Princess Peach if you want. But here at the same time, hold tracks. up your hand. Ready? Count us in. Hold up your hand. Tracks. Wait, out of five? Out of five. All right, oh, fifty. Forty-nine. <laughs> Okay, three, uh -uh. two, one, four, and three. Okay. I thought you'd go uh, with three. That's also, I was like, three point five. I'll go with the three and I'll explain real quick. Yeah. Nail on the head, you said earlier, it's a considered a so soft launch, and you definitely feel that. Mm -hmm. if, I feel like I spent whatever on this thing, and it's incomplete, and I have to wait. Okay. And between now and whenever uh, online cloud-based saving Fall, happens yeah, yeah. if i lose all my save da oh. data for, for i will be beyond stuff. angry yeah can you if i lose my ps4 is all my save data as long as the game and you've enabled it yes your okay. save data lives up on, on i've whatever. never even thought about that until you mentioned it but i would give breath of the wild beyond a five out of five it's oh right I'll now definitely I, you give it, you give such a yoshi, good game one yoshi i cannot stop playing that game cool the switch I'm, I wouldn't say I'm impressed with it, really, mm -hmm. uh, but it works, mm -hmm. it does its thing, and I can play Breath of the Wild whenever on it, so that's 
So it does its job. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right.